You guys like to think you know everything about me, which is why, hmm, which is why yesterday I asked you, what do you assume about me? Let's actually put it to the test. Let's get real judgy. No offense. <laughs> Good start. You seem like the kind of person to have a peanut. I, I do. I do seem like that. I don't have an allergy to peanuts, but I do seem like it. I agree with this assumption. I definitely give off those vibes of the kid that sits alone at the peanut butter table at lunch. Does school still have that? I don't remember. Hey, let me know in the comments below if your school's got a peanut butter table. Yeah, <laughs> you pee sitting down. I only do this at urinals. Jack seems like the kind of guy to waggle his fingers and say, <laughs> <laughs> Don't mind if I do when he sees an open box of donuts. They think I do. Don't mind if I do when I see donuts. You don't eat. No, they don't know about your fear of calories. I have donut flavored uh, Quest bars, and I often go. Don't mind if I do. I do like the birthday cake ones. Soup Rat, you're like half right. Also love the name. I assume that you have constant coffee breath, stinky smelly. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up! No one asks. I drink anywhere from two to three cups of the black stuff uh, daily. So yeah, I've got coffee on my breath sometimes. Sue me. I brush my teeth twice daily and water pick. So don't coffee breath shame me. It's practically 2022. Do better. <laughs> I assume you bit people when you were little. I think I did. I think I bit a kid. He was asking for it though. I threw a rock at a kid because he asked me what one times one was and I said two and he laughed at me and it didn't feel good. Also, what's times? What does that mean? I'm six. Five or six. Let's say five. <laughs> so I rocked him. Shouldn't have laughed at me. I definitely bit a kid though. I feel like I bit a kid's hand. But that was years ago. That was back when I was 19. That you bring your own balloons when it's your birthday in school and just carry them around <laughs> while smiling. That's awesome. No though. Um, because I've had a, uh, a lifelong fear of balloons. When inflated, only inflated. If they're deflated, that's fine, but inflated balloons, we don't see eye to eye, we don't get along. This pairs nicely with my fear of uh, jump scares and, and sudden loud noises. Oh, it's a whole thing. Do you have an hour? My mom said that you talk through movies. That's, that's not me at all. You couldn't be further from the truth. Oh, that's disgusting. The council labeled this comment as Pauses movie. Wait, babe, did you get that? Two things. One, Aaron's the one that talks through movies the whole time. And two, she's the one that constantly pauses the movie and says, wait, hold on. I am the polar opposite of this assumption. I'm, I'm very hurt, seeing as how my last name is Films. I respect the medium of film. I always say to my wife, film is a visual medium. And it's my passive aggressive way of saying, hey, get off the TikTok. We're trying to watch a movie. It's a lot of fun. You're the sort of person that presses caps lock twice instead of holding shift like a sane person. So like if I want, if I want an uppercase T, I press caps lock, then type T and then type caps lock again. Is that the assumption? I think just caps lock as a whole is very boomerish. I'm happy to report that I haven't hit the caps lock key on my keyboard in many moons, mayhaps years. I'm a shift holding son of a gun. I do agree though that whoever does this is um, the opposite of sane. I assume that you don't act as chaotic off video as you do on video. Do you think I act chaotic on video? Is this, is this chaotic to you? If so, I'm sorry. This isn't far from like real me, FYI. Every time I shoot at the beginning of every yai, that's like me ratched up to a 10. I don't naturally go, yesterday I asked you, like absolutely not. This is more real me. My, my world's a little rocked that you think this is chaotic. I don't know if that's good or bad. I think my mansion tour video, that's a good chaotic video. That's got some nice chaos in there. But enough about my office, let me show you guys our gym. So this is our gym. What else have I done that's slightly chaotic? The Mimi Big Boy guy, where every answer and question is Mimi Big Boy. That was pretty chaotic. I need to make more chaos. Real quick, I just wanna remind you guys that our tour is days away. If you don't have tickets yet, I suggest you get them now because these venues are filling up fast. Get your tickets at jacksfilmslive.com, link below. But get them today before you can't get them no more. I'll see you guys real soon. <laughs> Uh-oh, <laughs> stinky. <laughs> this is from Crotch Grabber. You chose your mods based off of their feet picks. Yes. And I pay them extra if they have more toes. <laughs> you still let the dog shit inside. No, I run a very tight ship around these parts. Aaron just said, who do you think we are? 
Do you think our house is just like covered in like the floor is shit? Just like a thick coating of shit everywhere? Is that, how dare you? I constantly let Chipwitch, our third and youngest dog outside, like pretty much every half hour on the half hour. She rarely poops inside. And when she does, I spike her like a football. <laughs> you felt superior for being a dragon kid instead of a dinosaur kid. You're so clever, aren't you? Oh no, no, I never had a dragon phase. Certainly had a dinosaur phase when I was like six. I didn't have time for your fantastical bullshit. I was deeply grounded in reality. I didn't have an imagination, I just had cold hard facts. I knew the diameters of planets and I knew a shit ton of dinosaur species. I've lost all of that now, like all of that. Can I name three dinosaurs? Triceratops, Tyrannosaurus rex, Velociraptor, Bronchitis, I don't, yeah, I, I maxed out at three, okay. I guess my dragon phase was like Game of Thrones the good seasons, so one through five. You are constantly farting silently throughout the video. Oh, not just the video, just all day, every day. And they are silent. I'm a little proud of that. That took years of practice, I figured it out. Sometimes I mess up though. I'll tell you though, when I'm walking around the house, I'm a real crop dusting son of a gun. Oh, how appropriate. The person who made this assumption is a, a fart stain. That's perfect. Great picture, dude. Yaya tracks just the brightest and best. Cool. Hey Chip, lie down. I'm gonna spike you like a football again. Yeah, walk away. You only have one dog. You just copy and paste when you edit your videos. No, it's not true. And I don't even get this one because all three of our dogs look very different. Let me show you. This is Klondike. This is Sunday. And this is Chipwitch. Sunday, Klondike, Chipwitch. It's not that hard. Jack the kind of guy to say, oh gosh darn it, when anything remotely bad happens. I, okay, sure. Just quietly and to myself, but yes. I assume that you often ask Aaron for help reaching things that are too high up for you. This isn't true at all. I use my big boy stool. <laughs> she helps me up on it sometimes. That you have an account on dozens of defunct websites and apps that were trying to be the next big thing. Oh boy. Well, I definitely made a Rever account. R-E-V-V-E-R? -E -E Rever was YouTube with monetization. <laughs> oh, there's so many more that I can't think of. Come on, you don't put all your eggs in one basket. You have multiple <laughs> eggs in many baskets. You're gonna mock me for trying cool new um, Pornhub alternatives? Shame on you. That you slept in bed with your parents until you were too old for it, like 14. I did have a lot of fears growing up, a lot of irrational fears that kept me up at night. I was a fearful little boy who should have had a peanut allergy, but didn't. I don't have any memories of me sleeping in bed with my parents as a kid, but I definitely have a memory of me at my cousin's. I was over at my cousin's place when I was a kid and I couldn't sleep. So I went in my uncle and aunt's bedroom and I was like, I can't sleep. Who does that? Like your parents, sure, but your, your, your uncle and aunt? I was a weird fucking kid. You're not actually gonna give us your nudes at five mil even though they are rightfully ours. Uh, first off, love the entitlement. Love that attitude. Guys, I don't know how, I don't know how to say this. I will 100% post extremely tasteful nudes if I ever hit this milestone, but I don't know if it's ever gonna happen. You might just have to use your imaginations. <laughs> You're cool with me posting nudes at five mil subs, right? But they're like tasteful. What's a tasteful nude that involves you? You really spiked that volleyball, huh? You look like you were the kid who wore shorts in winter and said I'm built different. <laughs> don't, don't laugh. Uh, don't I encourage have, Seth. I had one of those kids in my school. Oh yeah? Shorts and flip flops. Never wore actual shoes. Yo, Philly can get cold. Did I do this? I think I did. I think I definitely did. You did not. Sure I did. Donna would never. Donna would never. That when you go to bed, you blow on the candle on your nightstand. <laughs> when you fall asleep, <laughs> you go snore. Me, 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 snore. <laughs> Hold <on. laughs> oh, that is the funniest, like, G-rated wholesome answer I think I've ever seen on Yai. Oh my god, I'm like dizzy from that. <laughs> I'm trying to press the heart button, it won't like and I wear a little hat with a comically large tail and a cotton ball on its end, and there's a little feather that like blow away, and then it comes landing back in my mouth before I blow it away. That's me. You got me. You dampen your socks before wearing them. Jesus. I'm telling you people, I'm not that chaotic. I don't know where you're getting this from. This is like Joker energy. Feel my socks, Batman. They're not dry. Joker, you won't get away with this. Oh, but I have, Batman. I jumped in every puddle. Please read my uh, Joker x Batman uh, Wattpad fanfic. It's called A Wet Pair. The creative council is really just Aaron. Honey, we're always hiring. What do you 
pet. I'll let you watch all the TikToks you want. That's my final offer. Shame. Some people just don't want jobs. Oh, okay, this, yeah, yeah, that you still unironically dab? Hell yeah! Oh, that's the most accurate assumption yet. So only dance, can you even call it a dance move? No, absolutely not. But it's the only dance move I, I know. I don't know, like, I don't know all of these other, like, hit the whoa, and, and, and don't get me started on TikTok dances. I will die happily. Uh, before I ever do a fucking TikTok dance. I dab daily. It keeps me young. I assume your house does not exist due to the reoccurring use of the green screen background. You'd be forgiven. So th this is real. This, this is real. But sometimes it's not. And that's because I'll stream on Twitch occasionally and do like a shorter version of Yai live. But I keep the background looking like this, just so it's kind of themed the same. But I'm in a different room. I'm in my computer room. It's got that retractable green screen. Yikes. But yeah, every time I upload one of those on YouTube, and it's very obvious that I'm using a green screen in those videos, there's always a bunch of comments saying stuff like, I had no idea he green screened that. And it's like, well, well, no, not all the time. Just follow me on Twitch. It makes sense there. Oh, it's your boy, Joey. You assume I stink? I sweat more than the average bear, even when I'm not doing much. And except when there's a quarantine going on, I shower daily. So you can take this disgusting, stinky little assumption and shove it right up your Joey. Your other, I just noticed your other username is that lust. Creepy. You haven't washed the 15th anniversary merch you've worn for eight consecutive yays. <laughs> Shut up. You don't know that. Okay. I'm actually pretty conservative uh, when it comes to these shirts. I wear them strategically. I don't wear them during the day. Once I film, I usually shower right before I film. Otherwise my hair and features are all greasy. And then I put this on, I film, and then I take it off and I tuck it away because it doesn't smell bad yet. Eight yais though, eight consecutive yais. That is a lot. That is a, that's a lot of yais to be wearing the same shirt. No, no, believe, believe in the strategy. Oh, damn ball. One of the best rappers I know, certainly the best YouTube rapper, I assume you have an anus. I'll never tell. <laughs> it's these gross assumptions like these that are dividing our country. Not everyone, Dan Bull. Not everyone. You seem like you were a theater kid in high school, but you never got picked for any leads. I mean, that's true. I wasn't a theater kid, but it's I was never picked for leads. I was never the lead in a play. I was never a theater kid though. I was a band geek. 100% a band geek in high school. I was never a theater kid because I was in the pit for all of those musicals. Playing my little French horn. And women loved me. Oh cool, the worst. You just assume the worst. Neato. Oh cool, the council labeled this as same. Comments like these, they can mean anything. <laughs> Shit. Patrick writes involuntarily celibate. Honey, Patrick thinks I'm an incel. Are you not? No, I am. Patrick's correct. Yeah. He must have found your MySpace profile. Oh no. Patrick found all of my uh, 4chan posts where I complain why women don't deserve things. You've done your homework, Patrick. We just had this conversation about do incels self-identify as incels? Do they voluntarily call themselves incels? Cause like, yeah, it's like a, it's an insult to call someone an incel, obviously. But you found like a TikTok where some dude like identified as one, right? Yeah. Yeah. I didn't know that. I thought it was like an insult. It is. No, no, no. It, it still is. But I, I didn't know that if you were an incel that you knew you were an incel. Yeah. Well, I think there are two camps. I think there are incels who know they're incels, and then there are incels who don't yet, but they they are. This is hardly proper yai talk. JK, next yai question. How do you identify an incel? Oh, sick. That was the last one. What a great one to end on. Cool. I don't have a question for you. Go away. <laughs> Fuck you. If you enjoyed this damp little video, please subscribe and check out my YouTube community tab because that's where I post future Yai questions. Leave your answers in the comments below. I'll pick my favorites in the next episode of Yai. Also, click right here to see the previous episode. Uh, here's a clip. Please fix the Garf. Now, where could my Garfield be? <laughs> now, where could my pipe be? <laughs> John Field. <laughs> now where can my pipes be? <laughs> Zoe Mama. <laughs>